Hey fellas, today I'm going to talk about Metasploit. But before we jump into that, we should talk about penetration testing. What is penetration testing? Why we need it? And what are the benefits? Penetration testing is an intention attack on a system where the intention is to find out security weaknesses and vulnerabilities. With the help of a penetration test, we can discover potential flaws in a network. There is a two different method or types of penetration test, which are white box or you can call it overt test. Using overt test or white box, penetration tester has prior knowledge about target under test. Tester works with the organization to identify potential security threats. The main benefits of uh, overt test is penetration tester can uh, launch an attack without fear of being blocked. The second one is black box or covert test. Covert penetration testing is uh, completely opposite of overt testing, where tester does not have any prior knowledge about target. Covert tests are performed to test the internal security team's ability to check how well they respond to an attack. To carry out penetration tests in a standard way, PTES, uh, short for Penetration Testing Execution Standard, has uh, set seven categories. These are seven phases of penetration testing. Number one, pre-engagement interaction. Number two, intelligent gathering. Number three, threat modeling. Number four, vulnerability analysis. Number five, exploitation. Number six, post-exploitation. And number seven, reporting. Now you get the idea uh, about uh, penetration testing. So let's move on to our main topic. Metasploit. Metasploit considered one of the most powerful tool to carry out penetration testing today. It offers wide range of uh, exploits, payloads, encoders, and more in order to perform advanced attack. To launch Metasploit framework, uh, you can type MSF console in your terminal. It will take a few minutes and here you can see available modules, exploits, auxiliaries, posts, payloads, encoders, nobs, evasion. Now uh, let me explain these modules one by one. First uh, I will explain about exploit. An exploit executes a sequence of commands that target a specific vulnerability found in a system or application. Common exploits include buffer overflow, web application, and code injection. Another module is uh, payload. Uh, payload is a piece of code uh, to be executed through exploit. Basically, payload gives you a uh, control over over your target machine, so you can do anything that you want on your target. You can add or delete data, copy or download data with the help of payloads. In a technical language, a payload is a code that is used to execute an attack against a vulnerability. Payload can be metapreter or reverse cell. Payload is implemented by exploit on the target machine. Now let's see uh, encoders. So payload modules of Metasploit allows you to generate shell code, executables and much more for use in exploits. These uh, shell code or executables are formed in a plain text 
and it is uh, likely to be detected by IDS or it is uh, short for intrusion detection system and uh, antivirus to fix this problem uh, we have encoder as the name implies encoder encode the payload in a way that antivirus or IDS not able to detect the payloads uh, Metasploit offers various encode according to the situation. Now let's see what is auxiliary. In Metasploit, any module that is not an exploit is an auxiliary module. Exploit modules always have a payload. Auxiliary modules are a fascinating feature of the framework, allowing it to extend for a variety of purposes other than exploitation. You can create your own quick vulnerability scanners, port scanners, make MSF work as an FTP, HTTP or SMTP client. When we perform a practical uh, on an auxiliary module, uh, that time you will get better idea about auxiliary modules. And uh, rest of the modules I will explain as we go. Uh, as we continue this series in our next video. I hope uh, you get the idea about uh, penetration testing and Metasploit. Uh, why we do penetration testing, why we need it, what are the benefits. And uh, I will continue more on Metasploit in the next video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy this video or you like this video or you get useful information from this video thanks see ya